Hello. Alright, so I'm doing the magical part four of the night. Um, so, I don't know how my thoughts work. Like, with a camera, because I've never used one before. But, um... Pretty much all my thoughts go away when I turn it on, and I kind of just wing it, or just... I'm, like, on stage, and I'm, like... A monkey one man performing sort of thing so that's how I feel all the time is like I'm a one-man show type of deal <clears throat> so pretty much like when the conversation is like ending <laughs> um, pretty much I just revert back to like stoner talk <laughs> just because it's like so funny I don't know why and then um I have so much to say because like I feel like everyone thinks they're such an expert in their field whatever that may be like romance sex beauty whatever you know they think they're such an expert but um one thing I noticed is just like so is your online personality like your real life personality because like I'll just use me as an example. People is like, oh, you're, like, so annoying on the internet, like, when you, like, post stuff. Are you really like that in real life? And then I'm like, um, I can be, you know, like, I can have a really, like, New York type of, like, super personality if I want, but... I think that needs to come out only in certain situations, you know, you don't have to be like that all the time. Um, you don't have to be like Lady Gaga, like, who's just on all the time and has a different set of clothes every day, you don't have to be like that, you know, I think you can get away with just being like, like a white t-shirt, kind of like jeans type of person, you know. I was kind of thinking about, um, like, growing up in the 80s and 90s, um, because there's, there's, like, a lot of things I do that's, like, very high school, um, I don't have to say it because it's apparent in the video, you can just pick up on it, it's very, like, American, like, looks or like ways that I just am <laughs> so there's that and then I was thinking about like um my accent cause like I'm so interested in like the way people like talk but I don't really analyze my own accent and I don't really have much to say about it you know I think San Francisco is very, like, nasally, you know, like, um, yeah, it just is, like, I feel like I'm always talking, like, in my nose, I don't know why, um, and I was gonna say something that's so random, but I, like, always have to sleep in a bed, like, I can't, I've never slept in a car, I've never slept outside, I have to be on like an elevated bed, um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know why, there's a lot of different things I do that I found out is different that only I do. And that's one of them. I always have to sleep in a bed. All right. So I promise I'm not like a crackhead. And I'm not just staying up for no reason. It's actually because my one dog, the German Shepherd, Carla, she actually just gave birth about maybe five days ago. And every hour on the hour, I've been running out into the house and just checking on her and the puppies so I'm actually like forcing myself to go to sleep 
and stop checking. <laughs> Cause like, I love dogs so much. I promised myself with this dog, I would not get emotionally attached to another dog, which I think I'm concurrently still doing, but it's hard to not care for a dog or, you know, it's just hard for me to not care for it. And sometimes I think I do still go overboard with little things like checking on the puppies, like every hour, make sure they're like drinking from her nipples, make sure they can reach it, make sure um, she's not laying on her side where the nipple is out of reach for the puppies, you know, like... I, like, catch myself doing little things like that, and I think everyone here is like, can you stop? <laughs> because, like, you're on a farm, and there's just animals, you know, and I'm like, us Americans, we, like, love our dogs. Um, yeah, so I promise I'm not, like, like a crackhead, like, staying up for no reason. I'm actually gonna go to sleep right after this. Or just pretend to go to sleep until the sun comes up, you know. I, like, don't even really care anymore. And then, um, I'll just let my thoughts just overtake me. <laughs> um, yeah. I want to say something that's so rude, but I won't say it. I just feel like I have this, like, college, like, snot thing going on about me, and, like, I never went to, like, Harvard or anything, but, yeah, I'll just say that, because, like, I feel that way sometimes, like, you know when you resonate with, like, a character, you know, you just kind of do it, and you can't help it, because, like, you like it. Yeah, and with uh, stoner stuff is, like, just San Francisco. And, like, I have come to find out that anything you can say about, like, a certain city, like New York, for example, is just, like, the city that never sleeps, is applicable to San Francisco because we never sleep. Like, Chinese people are up at 3 a.m. already on their daily walk, you know, like, we just don't sleep in the city, especially us dudes, we just don't, because, like, the city is so alive, and you can just, like, feel people, energy, you know, there's always going to be someone awake at every hour, just always in the city. Faceless in the crowd. I feel like that all the time. I'm just like faceless in the crowd. There's so much anonymity in San Francisco. <clears throat> um, yeah. I love growing up there because, like, I went to YMCA and the camp counselors were so flower child and they were so cool and little brown minority me they would like ask me questions like really intermediately deep questions at that age and then it would force me to have to think about it and then I would always give an answer no matter how dumb I thought I was um Yeah, I think people just have a hard time figuring out what they are at any age. Um, but I think I've figured out who I am, like, pretty much. Like, I don't even have to explain it. Like, you just exude it every day in your speech, in your language, you know. Um, I know each video was...
was so different from one another, so I'm sorry. Like, um, yeah. I do that sometimes. <laughs> um, yeah. I know, America's taught me a lot about just weirdness and, like, weird people. I'm gonna keep reiterating that just because, um, it's true. People are weird. Um, <sighs> so, I was thinking about Final Fantasy VI, and it's probably not the overall like thing but I noticed there's a lot of soldiers and it's very like military and I guess I just want to talk about that like I don't know I just kind of feel like um some soldiers is like sappy and they're like does you appreciate me <laughs> you know it's stuff like that but I think when you don't think about something, I think you show your, like, respect that way, and plus I don't want the enemy to know, like, what we're doing, you know, so I don't harp on that too much, um, so yeah, and, um, what I took from the game, from, like, what they were, what Ted Woolsey was trying to say about, um, soldiers and the military, like, social commenting, social commentary is just, like, they're very lazy, and they're kind of, like, just grunts, very dumb, you know, but we still appreciate that, you know, like, on Survivor, you know, like, someone needs to push the big ball, or we always need to get firewood, and we always appreciate your strength, even if it's just picking up rocks, you know, like, that's still work, you know what I mean? So, Survivor people is good people. We appreciate everyone, <laughs> and, um, yeah, like, even gamers is just, like, you can't control the TV with just your mind, you have to, like, at least press with your thumbs, like, you know what I mean? Like, you have to do physical somethings, always, that's the challenge, um, Yeah, that's just what I got from the social commentary on soldiers in Final Fantasy VI. It was like, they're very lazy. Um, that was like the big one. <laughs> and I noticed it on Survivor, they just like, save their energy, like all the time. <laughs> but I'm not like, saying anything. <laughs> I'm not judging. Um, and then I was just thinking about Las Vegas and my accent cause like I think it got mixed with like my California isms like Nevada is very like flat like flatlands and it's like the most general accent in America like have you ever heard someone from Nevada speak <laughs> it is basically everything right about American English cause People think there's no rhyme or rules to uh, speaking American English, but if you've ever heard someone from Nevada speak 
English, like, we sound out our words, like, probably, and, like, that's normal to us. Yeah, so I just wanted to get that out there, that we know how to speak English in Nevada. Um, and, like, Las Vegas accent is very, like, everyone always says the same thing, and I can't get it out of my head either. It's just, like, it's very West Coast. California, and what else though, like, cause in Nevada we think we're West Coast too, um, and I have no idea what's on the other side of Nevada, so I don't wanna, like, <laughs> I don't know, um, yeah. And, like, my life here is going pretty well, like, just without thinking about anything complicated, it's just, like, my, I'm just noticing right now with, like, how I'm acting, it's just, like, I'm very happy, I'm very positive, I'm very high, you know, um, I'm not, like, feeling down about anything. Everything's just going good, you know? And... I'm still stuck in that stoner... phase where, like... There's, like, stoner etiquette to, like, everything. <laughs> Especially, like, social situations where you have to like talk to each other like <laughs> no one likes a buzzkill um this I don't know that's just always how I am like I like everything to be up you know like that's very American it's like we like things up you know we sleep on a bed you know like we like to put things up, like, on a cupboard or, like, a shelf or something. And we just love that word, high. Like, H-I-G-H. -H. <laughs> it's, like, my favorite word. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't lost my high. And, like, just for the record, I'm not smoking anymore. Like, I'm five to six years sober. And it's so much fun to get, like, a natural high these days. Like, especially when you've stopped and you're growing older. Like, a runner's high or just high philosophy, you know. <clears throat> And, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else there is to say, but I have, like, ten minutes. Um, so, I'm excited to upload this and, like, think about everything I just had done. Because, <laughs> like, I'm still getting new to the whole YouTube thing. But I'm sure I'll, like, fit in just because people post weird stuff anyway, you know. Um, I got a nosebleed, like, a couple of days ago, and I haven't had one in a while. It's pretty stunner. Um, I love McDonald's. Um, it's random. 
and I was just thinking about how some people is like, oh, I'm so eccentric, or just whatever, or I'm so weird, and, but you can tell they're just like putting on, but I think I'm actually a little bit like that, <laughs> like eccentric, <laughs> um, and I was also thinking about something else too, it was something like, um, I don't know, it was something along those lines. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to doing these videos just because I can speak in English. Because here I speak in Tagalog all day. You know? And I'm losing weight. I think you've noticed in my videos my face is getting, like, different. <laughs> um... And, yeah, everything's just good, like, I'm never the type to, like, blurt out something weird or anything like that. I don't have that weird sense of humor. I don't think I'm awkward at all. I think I'm so normal. <laughs> thanks to my parents I think I had a pretty normal upbringing and like a perfect childhood um I was gonna say like sex and smoking weed is such a phase and such a part of like teenage life in America and I don't know, I just don't understand, like, the statistics on, like, stuff like that. Just because, like, first of all, like, I'm not white. I'm Asian. Um, and I never noticed it in 80s or 90s movies growing up. But I had similar experience, like, when I grew up. So I don't think that's weird I think that's normal I don't think it's any more cool or anything else and I'm not just saying that to be cool you know I'm not trying to emulate anyone I'm just trying to be myself and I don't think I looked into any of that situations I think it just is what it is um, I don't think I'm like super survivor social sort of like parvity player you know I don't think I'm like that at all I don't think I could ever do that you know um just a normal guy, you know. Um, I don't try to be boring or like generic just because, because, just because I don't, I just am. Um, I don't know everything, <laughs> um, I'm not the richest. <laughs> person in the world, um, yeah, but, yeah, reverting to stonerism, like, I just think, I don't know, I don't think I'm a stoner guru or anything, I don't really know, <laughs> I just think it's funny, and, um, yeah, I'll probably have more content tomorrow. I'll try to do this every day. It's more of like a daily confessional type of thing. And like the easiest way to like get it out is to just like talk 
instead of like writing or like typing something up. There's nothing wrong with me, I don't think. Uh, <laughs> lives. <laughs> yeah, I can't get into that whole thing here where I don't know, or anywhere where you're just like lying down and like thinking. <laughs> I think that's kind of pathetic, actually. Like, to do something, you know what I mean? And, um, I don't know. I say so much bad stuff. <laughs> um, sorry. I was like admiring my face. Um. Oh, I was gonna say like. You know, like in a relationship where like. You know, it's kind of like over when like the talking stops <laughs> I don't know if anyone's ever faced that but <laughs> I kind of always know just from talking to someone you know and um yeah I think that's a dead giveaway <laughs> when you just stop talking to each other <laughs> um Oh, I was gonna say something very loud business, and it was like, I feel bad for people who have, like, writer's block, and, um, like, your boss-to-be asks you, like, oh, what's unique about you, or what's something new that you can bring to the table that this company doesn't have, you know? And it's like, whoa, hold on, let me think about that. But, um, I think it's really hard to not just say you, like you yourself. Like, I think I'm, I'm sure you've never worked with a Filipino before or something like that. Or just based on personality, like, I'm sure you've never met someone like me before. I'm sure you've never worked with someone like me before either, or like, never met anyone like me online before. And like, I just feel bad when people is like, they feel like they have to stop, or like, everyone knows they're gonna stop one day and it finally happens. <laughs> I'll try to keep this going, like, forever. <laughs> I don't know, because, like, I think age just catches up with us. Like, when I was a kid, I always believed in, like, hope, and, like, there's always a way to kind of, like, squirm your way to the top, like, on Survivor or, like, even at work. But once age hits you, you kind of start to believe, like, the whole empty thing where it's just like what's the point of doing this you know what I mean and oh I have one minute and it's like it's kind of hard to like crawl out of that hole um but I still believe in hope and like magic and like stuff like that you know I was getting kind of down earlier but I don't know just like talking to like you guys like just like made me feel better <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> um, it's blinking. I'm just gonna turn it off. 
Alright, have a good night, you guys.